Hi everyone, Agnes here and today it is Neville Nugget time and it is from the book At Your Command by Neville. The reason most of us fail to realize our desires is because we are constantly conditioning them. Okay, now what does he mean by conditioning? It means you are putting conditions on it, as in, for example, how's it going to happen? When's it going to happen? You start looking for ways and trying to speculate. Okay, you got to drop the how and when thing. Because in my experience of manifesting, if I can let go of that, it will happen in a way that was unconceivable to me through people, through means that I could never have imagined. Okay, so for example, I remember that I wanted to have a trip to Paris and I had put it off quite a few times. My cousins both live there, two of my cousins, and I thought, oh, I'd love to go there. But I was very aware that both of them lived in, you know, very small studios or places where there really wasn't a lot of room. So I was thinking, okay, I'll get my own place. Anyway, it was just a thought of, yep, I'd like to go to Paris at some stage. And I knew I wanted to go to the Moulin Rouge in Paris and go and see that building with the red windmill. And I decided that I wouldn't book anything because I didn't feel inspired to book anything or to actually make it happen. I decided I would let go of the how and the when. Well, one day I contacted my cousin, maybe a year later, and I said, you know, I'm coming to France, but not to Paris. I was going to where both our families live in the south of France. And I said, are you coming? Are you going to be around? And my cousin said to me, no, I'm actually um, going to, I think he was going to Kazakhstan at the time. And he said... Um, and then he sent me a, a WhatsApp message and said, you know what, if you want to come to Paris, you can have my flat for, you know, four or five days. So the trip to Paris came in a way that I couldn't have conceived. I mean, I never would have thought about my cousin offering me his place because, you know, we don't communicate all the time. We're not, you know, in constant connection we're cousins and we talk you know maybe two or three times a year or something so it really was something that came out of the blue so I took the opportunity and I went and I did go to the Moulin Rouge and I did go to the Louvre which is the huge for those of you that don't know the huge um, art gallery where there's so much amazing art and I went to see the Eiffel Tower of course I didn't climb it this time I just went and looked at it from the base and just you know was around around that environment because I didn't really have a desire to climb it this time I did did that years ago so it's letting go of the how and when and it's just focusing on oh you know I'd really like to go to Paris it'd be really great to be there I could do this I could do that and enjoy and let go so when you get the mechanics of how important letting go of how and when is the miraculousness can kick in. Now, a bit more. Look upon your desires, all of them, as the spoken word of God, and every word of desire a promise. The reason most of us fail to realize our desires is because we are constantly conditioning them. Do not condition your desire, meaning don't put conditions on the desire. Just accept it as it comes to you. Give thanks for it to the point that you are grateful for having already received it then go about your way in peace. Now that part is really important. Then go about your way in peace. There must be peace in relation to a desire. Unhooking yourself from needing it. Unhooking yourself from I can't be happy without it. Unhooking yourself from waiting around for it. Because so often, and I know that this happens a lot in the relationships, the desires for one or for a specific person or an ex, that you are hanging around waiting in dissatisfaction. Now, dissatisfaction is a huge handbrake to any manifestation. 
the more you can go and occupy yourself, not occupy for the sense of I've got to occupy myself to get away from the fact that I want this, but just occupy yourself going from day to day doing things you absolutely love and for the fun of it, for you, because it's a good thing to do and it just makes you feel good and it makes the day better. So try and let go of that dissatisfaction, dissatisfaction about where you are. I think I see this a lot when I get emails, working with people, there's a high level of dissatisfaction and you've got to surrender and let that go. You've got to surrender and let go of the big dissatisfaction of where I am, okay? Dissatisfaction gets photocopied, it comes back to you from your projection of dissatisfaction and it brings you more dissatisfying circumstances, okay? So from Neville, thank you. And again, a wonderful book at your command. And it is a short book, but a very, very deep and good book to be applied, not just read. All right. Now, another thing, Enrique, who is a viewer on this channel and I've had some contact with, has done a lovely thing and he's put some music to some of my affirmations and it's for gratitude now he sent it to me a long time ago and I totally forgot about it and I found it while I was looking for something else so he, I've asked him if he, I can give it to you and he has said yes by all means so thank you Enrique I will put the link down below to this gratitude with music so to get out of your dissatisfaction practice this and it will help you to move towards your desires. Now, the other thing is, for those of you that have booked in to see me in person in London, I will see those of you, you know who you are, and I'm not gonna mention your names, but I will see those of you that have booked in. There is still a couple of spots left in the afternoon for any of you that have been thinking about it. So just email me, the email is down below. So lots of love, everybody and I will see you in the next YouTube.